seven when the doctor told us to prepare for my mother's death. Desperate for an answer, my father met with a woman who spoke of hope. In Jesus, he can heal the sick. Jesus? Is he doctor? He is God. Even the doctor said it was a miracle. My mother regained her strength and also became more peaceful and even prayed with me to this Jesus, especially when I was afraid of the dark at night. Amen. I began to understand something of God. He created us, He loved us, and we could trust in Him. God created man in His own image, Susie. Oh, Mom, stop saying that. There is no God in that this world. That is, until religion. I was a teenager in the Chinese communist educational system. <laughs> anyway, it's science, Mom. There is no God. I was adrift on a sea of uncertainty. Over the next few years, I grasped for meaning in my life. Where am I going? Does it even matter that I'm alive? About that time, my college roommate gave me a Bible where I found those passages that agreed with my own life of disappointment and futility. Ironically, I came to believe again that God was real, but he seemed to have nothing to do with me. I went on to college where my life took on even less meaning and my depression grew deeper and deeper. It all came to a head when one day I blacked out. I slipped into a coma. A virus attacked my brain and rendered me unconscious. Three days passed where my life was on the brink. I finally awoke but I was still not clear of the virus. My mortality faced me. In the presence of death, my thoughts raced for the meaning of my life. Then I received a visitor. Would you like a Bible? I would like some more water. Oh, here, let me help you. I am Ting Li. I visit the patients here and offer to pray with them. I met your mother. She said you are very sick. Yes. I came to tell you that God loves you. I believe in God, but love... He does. He loves you so much that He gave His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you. Why did He have to die? Because of sin, we are separated from God. Sin? Uh, our wrongdoing. I have done wrong. We all have. This separation is overcome by Jesus' death. He is the bridge. He conquers death when He rose to life. And this new life, He gives to us. So now, death has no sting. We no longer need to fear it. Because through His resurrection, He offers to anyone who believes in Him, life everlasting. Believe in Him. That is all. That is all. That is too much for too little. Mm. This is grace. Grace. Suzy, grace is a gift, freely given. You trust God for it. Just like the flowers in the field receive the rains from the heavens, they can't do anything to make the rains fall. And so we too receive grace from the Lord above. I have not heard of such a gift. If you believe in Him and trust Him, He will save you. The Bible says, The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I think I'll take that Bible now. I had never seen such a kind face as hers, full of warmth and love. When she asked me if I wanted to believe in Jesus, every burden of my heart seemed to disappear. I wanted Him more than life. We prayed together and I became a child of God. I now live in Chicago with my husband David and our two children. 
I translate true stories of real people from English to Mandarin for the program Unshackled, based out of Pacific Garden Mission. I'm Susie Tang, and that's my story. If the sun uh, therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. <laughs>